Hi there, it's Monica. I'm a wellness chef and a health coach and today I'm doing a delicious smoothie which is with the fresh aloe vera from, from the leaf. So I want to show you how to do it. Um, one thing to remember, so I have two aloe vera plants and they are on my windowsill and I just bought them. They were very tiny but they are big now so I'll just show you one. Obviously I sort of, <laughs> so that's my plant. And it was really tiny, but you see it has new uh, coming out as well, uh, leaves. So I'm really pleased with that. But it just grows very quickly and very nice. One thing to, to just uh, know before you can use it, just you put it in, a, you cut it and you put it in a, on a kind of towel, like a paper towel, so that all this uh, white or yellow, kind of um, substance comes out so you don't want that in your in your uh, smoothie so why aloe i mean aloe is so well known for all different benefits quite often nice for soothing your skin so very nice to add even the gel, gel from the leaf plant you can add just directly on your skin and it really or to the kind of face mask you do but i'm doing this in the smoothie but it's really good for anti-inflammatory um, for very massively well good for um, for the digestive health as well massive benefits so known for years and years so if you can grow your own plant then do this it's so rewarding to be able to grow it look at it as it grows but also use it then in your uh, in your smoothies skin care uh, wherever it really heals well for the skin it's really healing well so something you can do and it's zero waste you grow it it doesn't come in any plastics and it's just perfect it's a winner uh, all all round so so let's make it okay so let's prepare the juice uh, or the smoothie actually so this is the plant and um, I've read about it a lot of different things sometimes you have to be careful to take this internally um, the yellow substance which comes out is called latex. It can be used as well, but generally you don't want it because potentially it may uh, cause some diarrhea or some other side effects. So we don't want that. So, um, but there are some um, people with, uh, well, there are some health conditions you shouldn't be taking uh, internally. I need to research this a bit more, but generally people with ulcerative colitis cannot take it. So it does help with um, digestive health and with some of the uh, helping with restore the bacteria um, imbalance in our gut. But for some people, it may be not necessarily the best. So check before you take it. The um, so we putting this are putting with some mint leaves as well mint leaves are uh, just fresh ones put half a banana just a bit for creaminess as well so putting in there i'm putting the uh kale leaf which i grow in my garden i absolutely love it uh, and i just again zero waste no plastic bags absolutely love it so um i'm just putting all the leaves and you just want to pack it so so that's that's done i'm also putting a bit of uh nice washed spinach just a handful really is the portion for two people and now what i do i'll put some healthy fats in there this is almond butter um which i just put for some healthy fats as well so that's good and also a bit of the protein a nice taste uh, i love almonds um, instead of let's say even the um, peanut butter so I'm just adding that and I think that's it so that's done now I'm also adding a bit of the hemp seeds hemp seeds are really nice a uh, source of omega-3s as well as um, protein so they're really protein rich um, so i'm adding that i'm adding also a bit of ashwagandha ashwagandha is very good for stress um, so it's the ayurvedic um, known in ayurvedic medicine and it's adaptogen and uh, adaptogenic herbs it means just adapts in what you need in your body and it just a teaspoon is it's a root 
it's a it's a powder from the root um, but it's really good to include in every day i'm also adding a bit of the detoxing um mix it's with the algae with spirulina doesn't taste the best that's why i'm trying to mix it with different things so it's like a um just the food but it has been obviously dried out and powdered so it's no additives it's just pure food and i'm also adding a bit of protein um again for a bit of the boost as it's not it's my main meal in in here so it's a clear protein no flavor and now for the plant so it's here and what i do obviously you need to take it out um inside it's from inside so i just take it i just cut the inside um the outside the prickly bits and then you can for example use this gel and and store it in the fridge or something you obviously don't want to have the skin and i will uh basically just cut it and remove the skin with a really sharp knife uh, it's a bit slimy <laughs> because it's a gel the other thing people do as well you can have this gel mix it in a blender and then use it on your hair as a hair mask uh, because or if you want to juice out of it you just again blend it and then just sieve it so you just have a clear gel or clear without the pulp because obviously what we're adding at the moment is the pulp i'm adding all of it adding the whole pulp so that's the clear and then um, it's really good I think I'm gonna just then <laughs> swipe my uh, it's just really slimy my um, my face with it because it's such a really good um, thing to have on your skin and in your it really clears of it so i'm just putting in there and again a little bit is left uh, but the most nutritional values are in the in the part which is basically near the the root so the the bottom part rather than the upper part of the leaf so this is where the nutritional value is most of it so you need to cut it so that you know you eat uh, close to the um to the base rather than anything because that's where the most of the nutritional values are so this is really a part of the other um so that's not necessarily the best anyway nutritionally so i'll just add what i can but not necessarily have it so nice on your hands don't don't wash away just massage this in in your hands and in your skin and it will thank you for that so it's just really good so all this ready i'm adding a bit of the lemon juice to allow the uh, better absorption of the iron from the um from the green leaves and i absolutely love a bit of a sour taste in my smoothie I'm also adding, and obviously it's optional, uh, doTERRA Slim and Sassy Oil. It's the combination of different uh, essential oils and it's just good for cravings. Um, so I will put that in just a few drops in that. It's cinnamon, clove and peppermint as well. So mm, smells amazing. And then what I do, I'll just top it up with the coconut water. So that's it's nice and it's liquidy and mix it in my high speed blender so the smoothie is now ready and it's ready to drink always taste if doesn't if it needs something else but absolutely amazing really good refreshing with the essential oils with the peppermint with um, adding a bit of uh, like almond butter it's just it go also gives a nice nice taste of it so give it a go 
I'm now gonna share it with my husband. <laughs> so uh, take care and give it a go. It's really, really lovely. Take care.